Dave Rivnack um, was hoping to start a company, maybe hybrid joint drives, where we can take existing trucks and SUVs, match an electric uh, motor to them to help improve the gas mileage on the more than 72 million trucks and SUVs that are on the road in the U.S. right now. If you look nationally at some of our biggest problems, um, balance of trade deficit, the number one import is oil, biggest reason for our huge imbalance of trade. Um, like to put Americans to work. Um, we're building a lithium ion battery plant here in uh, Tennessee. The chargers on this truck were made in Tennessee. The um, controller was made in California. The motor was made in Chicago. So it's putting Americans to work rather than shipping our money to Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, or um, Venezuela. Okay, this is um, a 2004 Chevy Avalanche, and what I did is I took the drive shaft out, okay. and in its place I've got a double shafted 40 horsepower electric motor. So there's a electric motor, so I got a short drive shaft about six inches long that comes out of the transmission into the front part of the electric motor, and then a shorter four foot drive shaft that comes out of the back of the electric motor to the differential. Um, then we tie it into the computer on the car and there's a little basically black box that measures what's your vehicle speed, are you moving, do you have the brakes on, are you in drive, what's your throttle position and it takes all that and your settings of um, how aggressive do you want to be on electric assist and it will send a signal to your electric controller. In my case I've got a 72 volt system and 450 amps and it'll send the current to the electric motor and it'll help push the car. So the thinking is that when you're driving on the level the car will think you're driving downhill because of the electric assist or when you're driving uphill you're driving on the level because the electric assist is helping to push you. And so hoping to get better gas mileage, save on pollution, um, use cheaper electricity rather than more expensive gas and then you come home at night you plug it in, you fill up the batteries, down here's the uh, battery box, I've got one on each side, six batteries on each side, chargers on each end, so you plug it in, get basically the equivalent of a half gallon of gasoline for 30 cents, that helps push you around town the next day, come home, plug it back in, and top her off again. Price of gas, uh, pollution, global warming, like I say, looking at um, our balance of trade, trying to create jobs here rather than internationally, I think it can solve a whole host of problems at the same time. And again, there's a lot, you know, you can say go out and get a Prius, and a Prius is a great car, but if you're going to be taking the scouts camping on the weekend and you're trying to fit all their camping equipment and um, gear, it just doesn't work real well. Or if you're building houses, um, you know, moving couches for habitat, you can't do that in a, in a small car. So there's a niche there and I don't think we can send all these things to the uh, junkyard. Right now I wish I, we could do better than the current 20%, but we're able to um, get about a 20% improvement in gas mileage. So instead of getting 15 miles a gallon around town, I'll get 18 miles a gallon around town. So that's the savings of 20% um, uh, in your in-town driving. And did the math the other day, if we were able to convert all 72 million trucks and SUVs on the road to just this current technology, that would be the same as taking 30 million regular cars and replacing them with state-of-the-art Priuses that you know just a 20 percent gas mileage boost in these big vehicles has the same environmental impact as uh, taking 30 million cars off the road and replacing them with state-of-the-art Priuses.